Hi everyone, so welcome back uh, in, in another tutorial. So in today's uh, lecture, we will discuss uh, sometime when you have a raw text data set and when you load it uh, in the Jupyter notebook, uh, you get an error. So for example, we have this data set that is a text data set. And uh, when, you, when we read this, like, uh, let's read them this. So uh, we we get this uh, error, right? So how to resolve uh, such error when that is a data rate limit, your current values or data rate limit like that. So you know, there are two techniques, one which uh, did not work for me, but uh, I'm uh, guiding you and second one which resolved my problem. So we'll discuss that one as well. So the first technique, uh, when you get in and uh, get an uh, error like that in reading your data set. So what you will do is you will move into your My PC. Uh, and like, uh, we have this C drive, users, for example, in the folder, and you will find this Jupyter folder. Inside Jupyter, you have a file like Jupyter Notebook config.python. You will open this and you will find the keywords uh, that we got the error right. Uh, if you can see data rate limit. So see, uh, you will have like that. So uh, before uh, this, you will find uh, this line like that with H sign. And there will be, for example, uh, values like that. Maybe one lake or uh, maybe 10 lake like that. So what you will do, you will just uh, increase this value, right? Maybe two uh, plus or eight more, two to three zeros in it. Just go into the file and save this. So uh, when you have done with it, then close it. Then what you will do, you will uh, just open the Anaconda. I, uh, I, you will open the Anaconda and you will launch the Jupyter again. Um, but um, uh, one more point I will guide you. Now, so let open the Jupyter first. So, okay, uh, normally this error will occur when, when you have uh, large data most of the time maybe. So that's why you get this uh, data rate limit uh, exceeded error in, in a Jupyter notebook or the Python, right? So uh, this method that, in, okay, so yes. Uh, so what you will do, you will launch Jupyter again, right? After launching it, uh, let me, yes. So uh, if this error uh, will be resolved for you, you will find a folder over here. Uh, its name will be, its name will be notebook, right? Notebook. But see, uh, I don't have any folder. As I told you, uh, this method did not resolve um, problem for me. So uh, a notebook folder, you will find, you will open it and you will find a Python file and just open and run that. So uh, I hope uh, this would work for you. Otherwise, uh, let me uh, try another method which resolve my problem. So see, uh, this was, uh, so what you will do, you will generate a new cell, you will create my data. And you will just uh, copy the path of your data set. For example, this is my data set, which we saw above, right? So I just uh, close this now. So yes, so see, uh, let me remove this. Just add one. Okay, fine. So this is my data set and I stored in my variable. So uh, what I can do is I just create another variable open function for uh, my raw data. That is basically my underscore data. And then just R, I just call the read function and read it. So this is an alter alternate method to read your data, right? So uh, just read on this. It will take maybe uh, some time. So 
the first method that I told you through the Jupyter and second node method that we are running this, that you can use uh, the open function in this way and hope it will work for you. See, so that is working fine and I have loaded my raw text data. If I can see, see uh, around in, in characters in the lake and maybe thousand lines uh, raw text has been loaded. So I hope uh, this will work for you as well. So see you in next uh, uh, tutorial. Thank you.